Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have a very exciting video for everyone today. Uh, it's been a long time coming since I've done another Bratz video and I'm not going to disappoint with this one. I recently purchased over $200, um, just kidding, 200 dolls from someone on a Bratz Facebook group that I really wanted to share with everyone. I, um, I really didn't clean up any one of them yet. I kind of have them <laughs> spread out. Um, in my doll room right now, and I'll insert a video here if I can figure out how to do that. And yeah, I'm super excited. I have not bought this many brat dolls in my entire life, and my inner younger brats collector is coming out, and I'm like super ecstatic. So First off, I'm going to show you guys the inbox dolls that I got from this seller, and then I will show you all of the open dolls. So let's get started. So first up, I will have Live in Concert Chloe. Now all of these inbox dolls, I'll tell you guys now, I paid between $10 to $12 per doll. And all of these boxes are pretty much in near fantastic condition, which is perfect for me because I'm very picky when I keep my dolls in box how they're presented in their boxes. So I wanted to show you Live in Concert Chloe first. I got her for $12, very, very exciting. Ooh la la Dana, she's a fantastic find. Got her for 10 bucks. I guess I don't need to tell you the prices of all of them. My most special one I got is my Tokyo Gogo Fiana. She was the last one I needed to complete my Tokyo Gogo inbox collection, so I have all of them in box. I don't have all of them out of box. I don't really think I have any of the boys, just the girls. Um, but this is my absolute favorite line to date that MGA has come out with. Um, just something about it I find absolutely fantastic and super cool. Uh, 10, 10, 10 Party Yasmin. I sold all four of my party dolls, including Dylan and Cameron. I was a little bummed about that, um, but I was able to get Yasmin brand new in box, so I was very happy about that. Um, I kind of regret selling the party line. They were probably my favorite from the 2010 uh, comeback. We will have Spring Fling Collector's Edition Jade. I have a few of the collector dolls in box, um, so she will fit right in with them. Formal Funk Dana, fantastic doll. Another fantastic line that MGA has come out with. Absolutely gorgeous, I love these dolls. All right, we may have an avalanche of box dolls over here. So then I have Bratz World Yasmin and her mom two pack. Um, never had these, I remember seeing these in stores and never got them, so I'm Glad I have them. I will have Chloe and her sister. And yeah, I don't know why I said that. We're trying to look for her name. It's Sonia. Chloe and her big sister, Sonia. Um, Sonia's a really, really beautiful doll. She just looks like a grown up, more sophisticated Chloe. And then last for the world dolls, I will have Yasmin and her mom. I don't know if it's like Portia or something, but like, her thing is like loose somewhere in the box. Whatever, she was what, 10 bucks? 10 or 12 bucks, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, the rest of the box is in pretty darn good condition, so I'm happy about that. So this one is Strutted Chloe, and I find this Chloe absolutely gorgeous. Um, her green eyes, her crimped hair. Um, I really, really love this doll, especially her pants on her second outfit. I'm a really, really big fan of those pants. They're super fun. I got Stylet Yasmin. Uh, she was one of, I think she was my second girl, third, third girl brats I ever got when I was a kid. I remember choosing between her and Slumber Party Sasha at Walmart, and my mom was super happy I picked her because she was $14 instead of what, like 25 or 30 that Slumber Party Sasha was, but I got her for a good deal like a couple months later, so I was happy about that. But I got her, so I'm happy to have her new in box because I did sell her. I have the infamous Stylet Dana, who is in absolutely every brat slot you can find on eBay. She is everywhere. Um, but I have her in box and I sold her, so I was happy about that. Strut It Megan, who is another gorgeous doll. Um, really love her first outfit. I love that sheer top. It's like super risque for the brats. Um, she ain't got nothing else underneath. But another gorgeous doll. Um, Express It Megan, first Megan. Ever released Meet Megan. She's the new funk of the Bratz pack. And yeah, so her box is kind of peeling apart, and then she's got some like dents and dings and scrapes on her box, which 
Just 10 bucks, I'm not gonna complain. I never told you that they told up to 236 dolls. That's why you guys clicked on this video is because you probably saw the title and you're like, oh my gosh, girl, why did you get that many dolls? That's pretty psychotic. <laughs> yes, my boyfriend was like, what? But I couldn't pass them up. So let me go grab those and I'll be right back. I'm back with wave, wave one. I'm ecstatic to share this with you guys. I got some fantastic dolls that I have Never had before. I got a lot of dolls back that I have sold in the past and it makes me so happy. Um, like I said earlier, these dolls, I haven't like brushed their hair. I've only tried to find some of their original clothes and whatever mixed in the many bags of stuff I got. So a lot of these dolls are gonna look kind of messy or gonna have lots of marks and scratches on their face and shoes and things like that. First, I will show you Pretty in Punk, uh, Megan and Chloe I got. One of those rare treats I got was Campfire Dana, and she's got a little mark right on her forehead. I can take that off with nail polish remover. I'm gonna have to try and clean her up. But I got her entire first original outfit. Super, super happy about that. Uh, Bratz Rock, Chloe, and Yasmin. Yasmin has her shoes, but they've been on a different doll, so they're stretched out, so they're not, um, not fitting her feet properly right now. I have Holiday Yasmin and Holiday Megan from 2009. You see, can't even fix this. this. Girls didn't even give me a chance to flat iron her hair and fix her hair, it's just done, so bummer. I have Megan, who's honestly not that, not that pretty. She was my least favorite of the line. The Santa Chloe was my favorite. Um, her hat's been on for so long, unfortunately it stained her forehead. I don't know, I'll try and remove that. Um, I'll try and fix her hair and see what I can do with her. I will have the beautiful Holiday Chloe, who I have her full original outfit. I don't have her stand, which whatever, but her hairstyle is like perfectly intact. And she is literally such a beautiful Chloe, like such a beautiful doll. I will have Bumblebee Yasmin from the Costume Bash line. Funk out Yasmin. I got a queen, like I got a queen. I should say princess, I got Princess Roxy. Um, I remember being at Shopco as a kid and deciding between her and Chloe for my Christmas present for my sister and I picked Chloe and I always regretted it because I always thought that Princess Roxy, she was my favorite from the line. I remember seeing photos and it just something about her outfit and the way she looked. She was just so beautiful. I don't know why I chose Chloe when I only had probably like one Roxy at the time, but I didn't pick her. Now I got her, so I'm super happy. And I have her original outfit. Her face has been smushed a little bit. Um, she kind of looks like an angry troll right now. And then I have Pampered Pets Chloe that came with uh, the shower and like the dirty dog that you wash. Um, I have Yasmin, so I have her. All I'll need is Sasha. Uh, I haven't seen Sasha though. Got both Yasmin and Chloe from the movie line. Their dresses are whatever, but I like their faces. Well, I should say I like Yasmin's face. I really like the screening that Yasmin has. I got twins, Oriana, who unfortunately has, has some issues and she will have her time and I'll try and fix her. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Bam, I think I got the entire line, yeah. I have Lena and all these dolls, I don't know why, were not well taken care of hair wise. Um, face and body wise, they're all pretty okay. I mean, standard play with condition, so I have Lena. I have Sasha, who is my absolute favorite from the line. And then I have Chloe, Brianna, which I had her when I was younger, but I sold her. And then I have Dee. I have Jade. I have all of these dolls new in box. This is another one of my, did I say that? Maybe I said it. Top five, top whatever Bratz lines ever. There's just something magical about these dolls that I love. Dynamite Megan, she's a fantastic doll. I've never had her. Rock Angels Roxy, um, love the Rock Angels line. Again, that's, I mean, it's the, one of the most popular Bratz lines ever. Anyone you ask that's a Bratz fan is gonna say that the Rock Angels is one of their favorite lines. The details were fantastic on that line. However, I think they kind of missed the mark with her face. Uh, I, I don't know, her face. 
I mean, to be honest, guys, I'm not gonna lie, and I know most people already think this about the Bratz, but I could see her outside of a bar smoking a cigarette. I just get this vibe from this doll, and I just think it's her makeup and the way her eyes are. And then I got the Fashion Show Evening Wear Collection and Swimwear Collection, Yasmin and Chloe. Uh, these are the two that walk. I have Yasmin in her, like, pregnant, frumpy dress. Um, I understand that it's cheap material and stuff, one, because they were starting to kind of cheap down in this era, and two, because she needed room so that she could walk. Uh, again, she has that movie Yasmin screening, so she is beautiful, and I really love her. And then I have Chloe, who I did not get her shoes, but I'm sure I'll find something else for her, and she's one that walks as well. I have Secret Date Megan, and I have her original hairstyle. It's kind of, um, kind of a mess, but it's there. I'll just have to replace some rubber bands. I didn't get any of her outfit. I might have it in my box of extra Bratz clothes, so we'll wait and see. Um, I got live in concert Yasmin. Again, I don't have any of her clothes, but I'm sure I'll find something nice for her to wear. Miss Treasures Chloe. I believe I already have her, but doesn't hurt to have another, I guess. I have, I'm gonna have lots of doubles from these dolls. Designed by Jade. I can never think of this line's name. It'll come to me probably after I stop this video. But I got Yasmin and Chloe. I have Chloe and I have Leah from the line. It's like, um, it's not like a design by line, but it's some line where it's like, oh, she's a nail artist and she's makeup and Leah's hair or some sort of like that, something like that. This Yasmin blew me out of the water. I opened her from the box and I was literally blown away. I love her shirt and these big bell sleeves and the undershirt, like Chloe and Yasmin from this line were kind of risque to begin with, but she is literally such a beautiful doll. She's fantastic. These are fantastic dolls. Like these are, these are very beautiful dolls. I'm super happy to have those. The costume bash one that goes with the bumblebee, but she was like the fairy. I think she had like green wings. Birthday Chloe. Um, this birthday line was the more pretty of the birthday lines. I know they had the ones with like the puffy skirts and the cameras. And then they had the other ones that had like the same shirt and skirt style. And there was Yasmin, Chloe, and Sasha. But I think this was like the third release one. And this Chloe is absolutely beautiful. I love her screening. I don't recall seeing a lot of brats that have this screening. Uh, I know Yasmin's ha Yasmin has quite a unique one as well. Um, so this was a nice find and I have her outfit and only one of her earrings, but I can get over that, but she's beautiful. Magic hair. It's a magic hair color, Chloe. She comes with Fianna and Leah. I have Chloe now, her hair's been cut, unfortunately, but that's okay, she's a fun addition. I have Pampered Pets Chloe. Beautiful, beautiful doll, really, really like her. And I don't know, and I spoke with my friend Jules about this, but we get like a Barbie vibe from her in like the best way though, like, I don't know, I get like fashion fever era Barbie from her. I don't, I think it's her face and her, she has a beautiful face, beautiful face. Um, this isn't her original hairstyle, but honestly, it's kind of cute for what a kid did. And I probably couldn't even do that now when I'm 24 years old. So, whatevs. I have Miss Fashion Show Yasmin. Um, honestly, this was kind of a sad line for me. Um, the dresses were cheap. Chloe was beautiful. I'm not feeling... Yasmin's face um, and she's got and I don't know if my camera will be able to pick this up but she's got a nice chunk taken from her top lip so bummer I have girls really rock Yasmin uh, she's another very beautiful doll in the face outfit wise um, too cheap for my style love the boots love the little fur coat I have her original first and second outfit which is super nice B Bratz blonde um, everyone considers her Chloe but she's the blonde doll only one shoe, so that's always fun. And then her dress is ripped in the armpit, but it's a good time. She's all right. I sold Sasha and then the the Yasmin skin tone one. I should say the Sasha skin tone. Um, so I would have had them all. Don't know what I was thinking because I don't know how easy it'll be to come by Sasha again, but go figure, that's what I get. I also have Girls Really Rock Megan that came with the cruiser car. I believe she came with a car. 
She's a fantastic doll. I got a lot of dolls from play sets that I didn't think I would ever be able to get without buying this obnoxious play set. Um, and plus some of the play sets are super hard to come by. I don't have her jacket, but I'm sure I have it somewhere. Um, but I got her original outfit. I don't have her guitar. Um, again, she's from the fantastic 2008-2009 era where... I think it's 2008. I think they took a break in 2009. The 2008 era where everything's fantastic. She has some beautiful curls left underneath. Um, but of course, with some child love and literally one touch of a finger, this hair explodes, unfortunately. So I will do my best to try and fix it because I'm super, super happy I have her because she's a fantastic girl. Play sports, basketball, Dana. She's everywhere. I've never had her and I think she's beautiful. I love her makeup. It's like pink, purple, and yellow. It's very, very fun. Um, I like her, she's cool. Rodeo Chloe, uh, she's got a little bit of damage to her face. Again, I'm sorry if my camera's not gonna pick this up. I'm gonna try and see if it'll focus. Um, but she's another addition I've never had. She's got her original hairstyle and I have both of her outfits, which is awesome. I have Miss Star Singer's Chloe. Um, I only got one of each of her shoes, so she's doing some weird thing. But I had her before, but I got her nude from a flea market in Florida. Um, kind of bummed. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. Oh, look at those arms. Oh, those are stained from her shirt. That's great. That's exciting. I didn't notice that. So I'm going to have to try and like color fast her outfit so that it doesn't stain. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Okay. Maybe she'll never leave her outfit. But I didn't get her little dance stand, which I was kind of bummed about. I kind of wanted to play around with that because I remember seeing the commercials for her. Bratz the Movie Yasmin. And this one came with like the designer glam kit. So it came with like a little box and hair color tubes and brush and like little clips and stuff. And I got her in perfect flawless condition. I got her full outfit. I'm just missing her earrings. I can deal without that. Oh, Pixies Yasmin. There she is. Beautiful, love her. And last but not least from the first wave before I have to go grab all my other ones, I got Flashback Fever Yasmin. Um, she's seen some better days. She's got some marks. Um, I can take it. This was one of those childhood dolls that I remember I wanted and I wanted and she was on sale for like eight or $12 at Toys R Us and I begged my aunt to get me for her for Christmas and she's like, okay. Guess who didn't get her? And I remember being so heartbroken. I just, I remember looking at this doll and I was just like, she has so much. She's so beautiful. I have her again. And I'm kind of almost in tears because this was like one of those sentimental childhood dolls and it feels really good to have her. I don't have all of her stuff. I have like her shirt, pants, and other skates, uh, her two bags. I'm missing her hat and clearly one of her leggings, but... At this point, I'm going to fix her up and I'm going to appreciate what I have because, like I said, I'm almost in tears. I'm so happy to have her. Um, all right, so before I actually start crying like a weirdo crying over plastic $20 dolls, let me go grab the rest of those brats and I'll be right back. Back with wave two. Um, yeah, we'll just jump right into it. I have some really fantastic dolls in this uh, pile that I'm going to show you. I have Midnight Dance Yasmin. And Midnight Dance Megan. Um, again, super, super stoked to have these. I've never had either one or either one of these. Um, Megan's in fantastic condition. However, Yasmin um, has some marks on her face. She's been loved, but honestly, I'm kind of glad that she's a little more damaged than Megan. Because honestly, Megan is like my favorite. I have Bratz Girlfriends, Girlfriend's Night Out, uh, the Toys R Us exclusive, Fianna, she came with the runway. I already have her, but it's always super nice to see her again because you don't get to see her that often. I have Head Games Rena. She's not Head Games Rena. This is like design your own head swap Rena. She wasn't a part of the Head Games line, but again, she's super hard to come by. And I did get... I believe two of her three heads. I got the blonde one and the red head, but I didn't get the one with the short black bomb, which is okay. But I have her, and I didn't think I was going to ever have her because she's, she's harder to come by, so that's exciting. Magic Hair Rhea from the Magic Hair Salon. I didn't think I would ever get this doll in person, let alone in her original outfit. She is literally, literally a beautiful doll. 
Her face screening is just absolutely gorgeous and her hair is long and beautiful and it's pink. Um, when it's cold, it um, is pink. Like it was pink until I like started touching her, but beautiful, beautiful doll. She is gonna be in the top of my collection. I'm super, super happy to have her. I was like, whoa girl, when I opened, opened up the boxes, Treasure Sasha. Again, a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. I love, I love the Treasures line that all the girls have like a mole or some beauty mark and it's, it was a beautiful touch to that line. Um, I only got her original second outfit. I don't have anything else from her so I was kind of bummed. I remember finding her and I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna have her original first outfit and everything? I don't, but I'm very grateful I have what she's in because at least I have something for her to be displayed in. I don't remember her name, I think it starts with an L, Lena. I'm, I apologize, I know I should know this, I'm a longtime Bratz fan, but I have her. Um, the seller didn't give me any of the kids or the babies, which honestly I could really care less about. Um, the only thing that sucks is like the ones that come with like the bigger dolls I would have liked to have, but like I don't really collect the kids or the babies, I already like sold off all of mine. So I'm kind of sad I didn't get her little Chloe companion, but I still have her nonetheless. I'll just have to clean up her face a bit, but at least she still has her original hairstyle in. Hairstyle Chloe, uh, she was one of the only ones that I tried to fix up the other night. She had like colored duct tape wrapped around her body and her body was disgustingly sticky. Uh, so I kind of brushed her hair, washed her hair and cleaned her up and I found her original outfit in the lot. I thought someone colored marker in her hair but it's actually color change hair. Cause again, I've never had this doll or anyone from the line. Um, so I'm like, oh great. She's got like dark maroon marker in her hair, like woohoo. And then I washed her and it turned hot pink. So figure out she has color change hair. She's another very pretty doll. I have formal funk Chloe, but not just Chloe, Jade, but not just Jade, Yasmin. Oh, but I don't have just Yasmin. I have Dana too. But if you think it stops there, I have one Sasha, but not just one Sasha, two Sashas. This was the easiest line ever for me to collect. I was like, awesome, now I have them all. I don't have like all of the original accessories and like, I don't have Dana's gloves. As you can see, Sasha has just one of her gloves on, like whatever about that Sasha, but this one only has one glove. Yasmin has both of her gloves, and I think Yasmin's dress is probably my favorite of the entire line. Jade has both her gloves, which I just realized, which is fun. And then I only think I have one of Chloe's blue gloves, but I have the entire line, so I was super happy about that. So I'm actually gonna be gentle. A nude magic makeup Maribel, which I had her before. Don't know why I sold her, I was stupid, but I do a lot of stupid things. Genie magic Sasha, who I'd never thought I'd see in person, and Yasmin who I don't think I have anymore. So I have both of these. I have both of their first and second outfits, which is very, very nice. I only have one of Sasha's earrings, which kind of sucks as she's harder to get, but both of them have their original hairstyles in. And I didn't realize that Sasha was the only one with like a belly tattoo. So that was kind of cool. Passion for fashion, Sasha and Yasmin, which I had Yasmin before. Again, I had Yasmin, Jade, and Chloe, but I sold them because like, Whatever material, sorry for doll nudity, whatever material MGA's factory used for like the hard plastic torsos, all of them like discolored and got dark and it was really disgusting, so I sold them. Um, but I got Yasmin back and I got Sasha. Sasha's got a little mark on her cheek. Um, I got two of her in the lot, same with the Yasmin, but these were the better condition ones. Um, so I'll try and clean her up because I've never seen her in person and she is beautiful too. Uh, Flower Girls, Nora, Chloe, and Yasmin. So all I need is Sasha, woohoo, another line that's almost completely done. Um, another fantastic line, these dolls are beautiful. But I have these three, which is really, really nice. Another rare doll to show you guys. Now I didn't get her twin sister, but I got uh, one of the blonde twins. I knew the name and now I can't think of it. I don't know if it's, is it Leah? Did Leah have a twin or something? Le it's not, Le I don't know. But I got the one that's packaged on the left side of the box. I don't have the other one. I was hoping to find her and um, I didn't see any of her other clothing pieces or accessories, so I knew she wasn't in the lot, unfortunately. But I have one of them in their original outfits, so very happy about that. I have Spider-Man Chloe. Honestly, whatevs. She is, she's kind of a disappointment of a brat doll, to be honest. 
I got Sweet Dreams Serena and Yasmin both in their original outfits. I already have her, so I'm gonna have to compare and see which one I have in better condition to keep. Very, very beautiful dolls. Another great line MGA did. Just very fun, pop of color. Very, very beautiful. Forever Diamonds Katya, who has an issue with her arm in its socket. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll have I'll put her on a new body. That's that's what I was. But I had her sold her, got her back. I have Forever Diamonds Fianna. So I have her and I also have Vanessa, so I'll have the three of the core dolls from the basic line, which is exciting. And then I also got Sasha, Chloe. I can't remember her name. I am spacing. Maribel. I know Maribel comes with the Ice Champion set. I don't know. You guys don't even have to leave it in the comments. I got her a new in box in my doll room. I have these three. Um, I don't have Chloe, so that's nice, but I have this one, Sasha and Jade, new in box. Desert Jewels 2012 Jade. I had all of the Desert Jewel dolls new in box. I sold them because their outfits were just kind of cheap and I was like, meh. Whatever. Uh, Bratz World Yasmin, who's got a little mark on her lip, so we'll see if I can fix that. The Walmart exclusive, I believe it's Nighty Night or Sweet Dreams Chloe. Um, she's got a little mark on her lip, but I think she's one that's harder to come by, so I'm happy I got her. Another Pajama Chloe. I can't think of the line name, but I know exactly who she is. We are now on part three of the doll set I grabbed. There may be two or three more. So thank you guys for sticking around. This has already probably been a super long video. All right, so we are gonna get on to my pile of dolls number three. Play Sports Leah. Leah, Play Sports Leah, I believe that. That's her, that's gotta be her. The last doll's name was Sheridan. Duh, I'm so stupid guys. I should have known that. Forever Diamond Sheridan. Play sports skiing Yasmin, never had her, so that's a good time. Sweetheart's Phoebe, another great doll. She is absolutely beautiful. I have Party Chloe and Party Jade back. I don't have any of Chloe's extra things or earrings. I just have her necklace and bracelet and I have Jade's full second outfit, but not her earrings. But I'm still very happy to have these ones back. Like I said, I'm sad that I sold the party doll. So I'm very happy I have these ones back because they're very beautiful. We have Head Games Dana, um, have her outfit. She was in like the singular smaller pack. I, she is reusing Girls Night Out. I believe that's Girls Night Out Dana's makeup and then her dress without all the fun stuff and the shoes. Sleepover Sasha. I don't have her little bunny pet, but I have her original outfit here. Um, She's the version with like the Nighty Night Sasha screen. These were later, so clearly this is like original Slumber Party Sasha's outfit. Class Yasmin and Class Phoebe. I used to have Yasmin and I sold her, which was super stupid of me. Um, but I have Class Phoebe, who I have never had. And I have her full first and second outfit, so I'm very, very happy about that. She's a very beautiful doll. I, I really like her face a lot. Very happy with her. I have um, a Holiday Chloe. Um, to be honest, I'm not really too keen on her. Uh, she looks baked off her mind and her outfit's just kind of whatever. I'm not a big fan of like this fake felt material. It's just too dollar store doll to me. Her boots are cute though. I will give her that. Hot Summer Days, Yasmin, Fianna that was exclusive to the pool, and then Chloe. I have Sasha in my bedroom and then all I'll need is Jade and then I will have all of them. Um, I didn't think I'd ever get Fianna, so I'm really excited about her. I have Sunkiss, Summer, Yasmin, and Dana. In this lot, you'll see two more of her and one more of Yasmin. Um, there's a Chloe in there somewhere. Um, but these two were in the better condition dolls, so I kept these ones aside. Uh, these were two that were in the best condition, so I kept them. This is another one of my favorite lines. I really like these dolls. I think these ones are very beautiful. Campfire Phoebe, she's a beautiful addition to have to my collection as well. Again, I already have her, but I'm not sure if I have her original hairstyle like this, so I will just kind of have to go through and see who I have in better condition. I will have the costume dolls from 2008. It is one of my favorite Chloe's of all time next to like Sea Stunner's Chloe from like 2013 um, and Sun Kiss Summer Chloe. I, I love the beauty marks, love the makeup. I mean, the outfits for these dolls are very, very cheap, unfortunately. That was a time MJ was like going through the lawsuit and a lot of their their products, unfortunately. 
um, showed that. But I have Chloe new in box, but I've never had Yasmin or Megan, so I'm happy to have all three of them, uh, even out of box. I'm gonna try and fix up their hair. Chloe's, to be honest, I may actually not fix up. I know it's kind of messy, but it's just very poofy and regal, and she still has her curls in for the most part. So I think that's kind of fun, so I may keep her like that. But Yasmin has a very beautiful face. Her lips have like this iridescent shimmer yellow to them. They're very beautiful in person. I really like that. Winter Time Wonderland, Dana and Chloe. Dana's another one of those, just like Stylet Dana, I believe, um, where you, you see her everywhere. She's in every lot. She's in, she's multiple dolls in a lot. Like she was just the most bought doll, I feel like from the Winter Time Wonderland line which is actually kind of funny because she's my favorite from the line. I adore her first outfit, her second outfit. She's just, her color scheme, the purple and the tan and the white, I just think is beautiful. Um, Winter Girls Chloe. Um, so these dolls were later Walmart, ex Walmart exclusive in the USA. I know that there's some variants in other countries. Um, so she came wearing reused clothes pretty much from the Wintertime Wonderland dolls. So she came with a jacket and then she came with Wintertime Wonderland Sasha's extra blue sh or like um, mint colored shirt. And then she came with like a long tan corduroy pair of pants. Uh, no second pair of shoes. She came with a jacket. I've seen versions of these dolls that come with earmuffs and glasses and like hot cocoa mugs, but not a second outfit. So I know there's a few variations, but I'm very happy to have her as well. And I can't tell if her hair has been cut or if it's supposed to be kind of shorter in the back and longer as it goes forward. Genie Magic Katya from the Genie Lamp playset. Very, very happy to have her. She's another very beautiful doll. Another playset doll that I never had and I completely forgot about. Bratz Girls really rock Roxy from the airplane set that was a Toys R Us exclusive here in the USA. Um, I have her hat, her full outfit, and even her um, guitar is still rubber banded to her. And I started Googling Bratz Girls really rock there was like a Dana that came with a bus. There's another Roxy that I think came with another car and she's wearing Sasha's gold outfit. And then there's the Megan from the car. And I'm just like, I couldn't believe how many dolls there were to this line that I didn't even know existed. And you know, once you think you see everything Bratz related, there's always something else that comes up. We got Rock Angels Jade and Rock Angels Sasha. Um, I had Jade. I sold her to my friend Joseph. She was new in box. I'm super mad that I sold her to you, Joseph. So I have her back. Very, very happy. I do have Sasha new in box, but she gotta have one out of box to appreciate. There were so many variants with box variations. Tattooed belly buttons, non-tattooed belly buttons, missing hats, and then different shaped size guitars. Oh, it was a mess. And down to the end, I have Secret Date Chloe. Uh, very happy to have her in my collection. She's very beautiful. I love her. Um, her blue eyes and there's pink in there. It's a nice variation to have for Chloe. I have Shrek Yasmin. And compared to Spider-Man Chloe, this doll is fun. It's, it's, she's literally phenomenal compared to Spider-Man Chloe. Her face is beautiful. She just looks more like a Bratz doll to me than Spider-Man Chloe did. Um, Yasmin does have a little mark next to her cheek, but her face is so beautiful. I love the shirt that it's supposed to look layered. The jeans are just better. Even the little jacket that has the Shrek symbol on it. It's just, I feel like she was more well put together. And she's very beautiful. I'm actually really happy to have her. I didn't think I was gonna like her as much as I did. The last four, which I have, uh, all four of the Ice Champion dolls. Um, two of the four of these have seen better days. Um, I'll show you Vanessa here who, for whatever reason, I just realized has string in her hair. Um, but. She's got a lovely mark on the side of her face. I have Dana, which I remember being a kid and I liked Dana a lot, I really wanted her. There's just something about her that I really, really liked. Um, and then there's Yasmin. She's got a lovely little mark under her left eye. Um, kind of bummed, but that's okay. And then this is Maribel. This is who I was thinking of. Uh, this is Ice Champions Maribel that came with the, the playset. And to be honest, she's okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of her orange outfit. I actually prefer her... F 
I lied, I think Vanessa's face is actually really beautiful. I really like Vanessa's face, but her face is really beautiful too. I really like the screening of her eyes with the glitter and stuff. She's very beautiful. I forgot what lot we're on. I think this is four, part four. Video clip number four, something like that. I don't know. Thanks for sticking around. This has been very long. Icons Yasmin here and look at this icon, honey. Like, that's an icons right there with a Z, don't forget it. Um, I have her and Chloe and Sasha new in box. I've been dying to get Jade. I, it's, she's so hard to come by. But Yasmin is open, I'm gonna try and fix her up. So, I mean, that was always a nice surprise to find her. Um, you really don't see any of the Icons dolls anywhere. I have Pampered Pups Chloe um, from the 2008 movie. Um, she's a very pretty doll. I like all the textures and stuff on her outfit. Um, this again was during the time when like the lawsuit and stuff was going on. So MGA kind of cut corners. Like with this vest here, you can see it doesn't go all the way around. Um, but she was a $10 doll and came with like a bobblehead dog. So like what, I guess I shouldn't expect much. I have Yasmin's mom and I have her on the original body, which I figured out from Alex Babs, um, that the mom body came later when Chloe and her mom was released. So that was fun info. Cause I was really confused why some of Yasmin's mom had like that mom posed body and some of them didn't. So thank you, Alex, for that. That helped clear up some confusion. Forever Diamonds Vanessa. Feeling Pretty Yasmin, which was a nice find. I do already have her, but I was able to get her full second outfit. So super stoked about that. I have another one of those glam Chloe's from like that design set. I can't remember the name. There's something about this one's face though. She looks a little too angry to me. I got two of the Tokyo Go Go Boys opened. I have his shoes somewhere, but I have Eaton and Dylan. And then we'll have Wintertime Collection Cameron. I have Bratz World Yasmin and her man. That was, I was like, oh girl, that's kind of nice. I've never seen his body um, before, I guess, like to actually touch him because I have them new in box and his like body is a lot bigger than like the original boys, which I threw on the ground and I'm not going to get. And Yasmin unfortunately has had her hair cut, but it doesn't look bad. I think it looks very cute and fitting for her outfit. Another Sunkiss Summer Yasmin. I have another one of those Yasmins that designed one that I, I don't know why I can't think of the name. Genie Magic Chloe. Genie Magic Megan, who is in desperate need of some TLC hair care. And then Genie Magic Jade, who is a very beautiful doll. Another Genie Magic Chloe in her original outfit. I have a lot of her pieces. I think I got like three or four of her in the lot. A magic hair, Jade and Chloe. I already have both of these. Again, very wonderful find. Um, I know Jade's harder to come by and she's very beautiful. I got her for Christmas back when I got her from Santa and she arrived. Santa ordered her from target.com for me. So thank you, Santa. So when I came home from school, she was laying all beautifully wrapped in front of my bedroom door. So that was exciting. So I have that Leah doll again from that mysterious design line that I can't think of because I'm stupid. Treasures Roxy. She is, she's an angry looking gal and she's got some marks and her, yeah. She's a little angry at the world. A first edition Chloe who is looking a little frumpy. Unfortunately, I think her face was crushed. Um, I, I saw her in like a pre-picture before I ordered the lot and I'm like, oh girl, I'm gonna have to take like a hair dryer and warm up your face and try and form it again. But it's a little sad looking. I think it's called Wild Wild West. This was the 2008 version. And again, back then you could pay $20, $25 for a doll and get this fantastic hair. Passion for Fashion Aubrey. She's a beautiful find. I have all of them new in box, but having her open, you can really appreciate and look at her, especially with her glasses off. She is a very, very beautiful doll. Play sports. Soccer Yasmin. She is probably, again, one of my least favorite dolls. She has the same exact face as Spider-Man Chloe. Um, she even has Kanekalon hair. I just, I appreciate the attention to detail with this outfit, like the actual jersey material. I was very happy MGA did that. She's just not really for me. Magic hair color Fianna. Again, I already have her and her hair is gonna need some TLC. Still a very beautiful doll. She actually has one of my favorite facial screenings of brats like ever. It's just very, very beautiful face. Really like her a lot. 
I have both Roxy and Phoebe of the Twins. Roxy has seen some better days. But I, I knew that was to come. A lot of these dolls, the seller even was like, oh, they, um, some of them have been well played with, which I totally understand. Roxy and Yasmin from the Soccer 2 pack. That was also a really exciting find. I do have them new in box, which I'm very grateful for. But again, dolls that you don't get to see so often. I feel like I got super, super lucky with these dolls. And I just, I'm super grateful for it. Express It 2003, 2002, uh, Yasmin and Chloe. Chloe's nude. I apologize. I'm still in the process of finding all their stuff. I have Adventure Girls Chloe and Jade here with me. Have these girls already, but again, very, very nice find. You don't get to see those all that often. Pampered Pets Charlie. Pups? Pampered Pups Charlie. Pets? Pets. There's too many pets and pups lines. I have Funk Out Yasmin. Wildlife Safari Megan, who is my very second girl brat doll ever. I still have my original doll. I love her. Absolutely love her. Again, one of my top five favorite lines. I think I've told you my four favorites so far. So, I don't even know what my fifth one is, to be 100% honest. Uh, girls really rock uh, Jade and Chloe. I remember I got my Jade when I was down in Florida on a family trip. I was super happy. I remember going into Toys R Us and seeing um, the shelves restocked, like the World Twins, the World Bedroom sets, and I'm like, who knew all of these existed? And I was fangirling, oh my gosh. My dad wasn't too happy, but I was happy. Passion for fashion, wave two Jade, another surprise. Unfortunately, the mark that she had on her face, that was kind of unfortunate. Well, I mean, we'll see if I can salvage that, but otherwise I'm sure there's someone else that would be able to fix her up and be able to give her a lot more love than I would. Wildlife Safari Nevra, another great find. I have her new in box, but I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one out of box to display with my uh, extra Fianna and Megan I have because Never is such a beautiful doll. We're on number five now, I believe. So I have Pretty and Punk Chloe again. I have Sunkiss Summer Chloe, who is one of my favorite Chloes of all time. Uh, one of my amazing friends, Michael, he um, already gave me her as a surprise and I was in love with her. This Megan, I already don't remember her line name. If it's Strut It, maybe. Express It Megan. Another Chloe from the Adventure Girls line, and this time I have her in her full outfit. I have the Sisters of Different Heights, Lilani and Kiani. I believe that's how you pronounce their names. This body was used for the pixie mold, so whatever. I mean, they're cute dolls. Um, they have, like this one especially has some curves in some places, so honey, yes, good for you. Um, I don't know. I really, I think I prefer this one over this one. Her eyes, I'm not a fan of the blank stare brats, the ones that look straight forward. I love the side glancing ones. I have Nevea and Peyton. Um, both of them literally have like my favorite brat screenings ever. Uh, both of these screenings are like my absolute favorite ones that uh, MG has ever done. Um, these dolls were cute. They were fun. They were a nice addition. Tokyo Go Go Jade. A footless pampered pets Yasmin. Pampered Pups, pamper I think these are the Pets ones. Yeah, Pampered Pets, Yasmin. She is a beautiful doll too. Another Adventure Girls doll, this one is Yasmin. Chloe's big sister, Sonia, here again, and I have her open, and like I said, she's just more like a sophisticated looking Chloe to me, but she, nonetheless, is still a very beautiful doll. We'll have Express It 2002 or 2003, I don't know when the line was introduced, but this is Jade, and she still has her original hairstyle in, so that's really nice. Treasures, um, Treasures Yasmin. I took her top to put it with my other Treasures Yasmin stuff that I have because I'm like separating all my collections into like bags. So like I have like, let's just say like Rock Angels Jade's stuff in one bag, Rock Angel Sasha's in another to kind of keep things organized so I don't have everything in a box like I've had for so many years. Uh, we have Bratz World Chloe. Then we have another infamous stylet Dana. You just, you can't get away. Like I said, there's always one in one lot and this is the one I got in this lot. I have Express Style. Flaunt it. Oh my gosh, I didn't know when that was coming to me. I have Flaunt it Yasmin. I did have another one in the lot, but I sent it to my wonderful friend Jules. Um, it's a surprise for her. Well, she knows she's getting it, but um, 
that was her one of her first dolls I think she told me and I gave her the, I sent her the one in the better condition so I really hope she loves it because this is a fantastic doll I have the beautiful um, Princess Chloe who I already have but she still has her full hairstyle in um, she still even has like her purse and her bracelets like strapped and rubber banded to her which is actually really cool you don't see that all that often more to cycle Cade um, you'll see more of him in the next boy lot. Have another Yasmin from that, that line that I can't even, the strut it line or whatever. Passion for Fashion 2008 Chloe. Um, this was the first release of her where she had the long jumpsuit. Um, and this jumpsuit went over the boots where the second version of her had the jumpsuit that had skinny, skinny leg things and actually went inside the boots, which I prefer that one better, but I didn't get that one. Even the one I have in boxes like this. Uh, two more Sunkissed Summer Danas, uh, one with the swimsuit, one without, but that's all right. You got another Tokyo Go Go Jade. Apparently you can't have too much of her, at least I couldn't. We got live in concert Saja, who is looking like a little skunky mess, but you know, as live in concert Sasha's normally do. Um, yeah, she's clearly in Dana's outfit, but that's okay because there's nothing else that goes with her. We have another Wildlife Safari Nevra. You can't have too much of those because that is a very fantastic doll. We have Bratz World's Babysitting Chloe, who unfortunately is another one that has had her hair cut. But surprisingly, because the hair is curly, it actually, I mean, with a little bit of styling, to me, that doesn't look all that bad. She kind of reminds me of Nadine from the 2010 line of dolls who has the short hair. I mean... Nadine is totally different from this Chloe, so don't get me wrong. Um, but I already have this Chloe, luckily, and my friend Joseph flat ironed her hair and straightened it for me, so she looks beautiful. So I will be stealing this outfit and this singular shoe until I can find another one. We got 2004 Celebrats and Yasmin. Uh, fantastic find. Uh, whoever styled her hair, uh, kind of like what they did with Pamper Pets Chloe. Um... Did a really cute job, she looks beautiful. Express It Yasmin, I don't remember if I already showed you one, but I know I have another one somewhere. And we have another Wintertime Wonderland, Dana. I have Pampered Pups Shower Yasmin, I already have her. Again, another wonderful find, I'm glad I got Chloe in this line. Rock Angels Chloe and Rock Angels Yasmin. Unfortunately, this Chloe, which sorry the lights like dwindling down, it's literally only 12.30 in the afternoon and it's already getting dark in here, so I apologize. But her face has seen better days. She's got some staining and marks, so we'll see if we can clean her up and give her a better home. Nighty Night, Chloe from 2008. This is surprisingly one of my favorite dolls from that year. I'm in love with this pajama set. This is the first release of her. Uh, they did a few different versions of these dolls. Um, unfortunately, she's got the nylon hair. The styling of it was beautiful. Uh, a lot of the Moxie dolls, when they were first released, like the Jamas dolls, took this hairstyle. Um, still very cute. I still do very much love this doll. I already have her open and new in box because I, I do really love her. And then we also have Nighty Night Yasmin, who's missing an earring, but here she is. Uh, she'll need some fixing up, too, with the hair. We have Rodeo Yasmin, very, very beautiful doll. Happy to find her as well. Uh, one I was actually really surprised about uh, was this line didn't really have a name, but everyone called them Passion for Fashion. Uh, she was the hippie, Yasmin was the artist. I mean, Jade was the artist and Chloe was the cowgirl. Um, this doll is beautiful. She's fantastic. She was the first doll that I've ever seen Bratz related that actually had freckles for the time. And then when they redid Rena, in 2010, they gave her freckles, and they also gave Tess, the one with the little rubber ducky shirt, they gave her freckles too, which is a very wonderful touch for our brats. I actually compared her to Passion for Fashion Dresden. They have the exact same screening, of course, minus the freckles, but they have the exact same eyeshadow. I was like, come on, MGA, really? And Dresden is a beautiful doll too. And I'm like, go figure, I find both of them beautiful. They're pretty much the exact same doll. Original Passion for Fashion, Yasmin, this was the second, um, the second variation of her and I could tell because of the eyeshadow and the eyes and her pants didn't have like the nice gradual fade to them. Uh, they were like completely white and then there was like a cutoff and then the rest was like denim jean color. And that's how you can tell that was a second release because they didn't have like that gradual fade. 
Uh, we have another passion for fashion, um, Sasha. And this one is also that second version like I was talking about, as you can see in the pants. It's clearly like white and then it's like cut off and then denim where it's not as much of a gradual fade as like the first one I showed earlier. Um, she doesn't have her original shirt, but luckily the person included one of her shoes and her original dress to go with her pants. We have Passion for Fashion Yasmin that went with the pantsuit Chloe. Um, again, this doll was very beautiful. A lot of the dolls seem to shared the same screening for this um, for that series, but it didn't bother me because the face is super beautiful. Super, super beautiful face. I think all I have left are some boys and we gotta give them some love. So let me go grab those quick and I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So we're on the last part. We're gonna give some boys some love here because they deserve it too. Very excited to show you what I have. I'm not as versatile um, with knowing boy lines as well as some of you guys may. Um, so I'm sure if you guys leave some comments that would, that would be appreciated for some of the boys that I don't know. I also want to apologize as like this two hours of filming and collecting dolls is going on, it's getting in darker and darker in here. It is now 1238, like since the last time that I told you guys it was 1230, it's been eight minutes, and I feel like it's already a lot darker. Also, I want to apologize because of the light bulbs on here. I thought it'd be fun to show my Christmas tree in this video. Stupid mistake because there's like weird lights and shiny things all over me. I apologize, but we're gonna jump into the boys here. Um, I put all of their stuff in like a separate bag so they might not all be wearing their original things or maybe missing shoes. Like Mr. Neon Pop Diva's boy Cameron. I think he was just Neon Cameron or Neon Pop Cameron. I don't think they gave him the Diva's name, but he could be a Diva. Look at how hot he is. Formal Funk Cameron and I have a lot of the other boys I'm excited to show you. So I've not seen a lot of these in person. My sister had Dylan and Chloe growing up and we really liked Dylan because of his clothes. So I'm excited that I'm gonna have some boys to display with the girls, which is super awesome. Next we have another Cameron. I don't know if this is new cool Cameron or what, but he's a Cameron. I like a sweater, I would totally wear that. One that I was super excited about was Pretty and Punk's Cameron. Um, I should just say Punks, Cameron. I think that's what they named the boys. But he's a great doll and I think I have all of his stuff in the bag. I saw some stuff that I'm like, girl, that's gotta be all his stuff. Ain't nobody else daring to wear that. But yeah, I'm really excited. And he seems to be in fantastic condition. Most of the boys seem to be in wonderful condition. I have this Cameron who I have before. I can't remember what his exact line name is. Um. I don't know if this is his original shirt. I feel like, I don't think this is the original Wildlife Safari Cameron. I don't know. Cause they did another camera that kind of looked like this, unless I'm thinking of the one that has the goatee. Yeah, he has a different jacket and stuff. Yeah, I'm not versing, boys. I um, have uh, Boys Really Rock Eaton, who is not in his original shirt, which I have, but he's just kind of whatever. Um, this Dylan, which is, I'm not a big fan of him. He's also whatever. I have Prince Aiden, I believe his name is, and someone was nice enough to give him a whistle and put it upside down. So apparently he can call all the girls to the dance floor, which I'm sure they would come if a boy looked like that. I would totally come if he blew a whistle. Um, he's a great doll and I have to make sure I have his shoes and stuff. Um, it would have been really cool if he came with a crown. I know his artwork show that he had a hat, um, it would have been cool if he came with a hat. It would have completed his look. I believe this is Secret Date Eaton. Um, I don't think Dylan normally has this nice a hair, to be 100% honest. I think it's Eaton. Um, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I also have this Dylan, again, who I'm not a big fan of. Um, he has, like, the original Cameron and Dylan screening where he has those alien eyes. And I don't know. He just looks like a dolphin to me. I have... Wintertime Wonderland Eaton as well, I believe that's who he is. He's a great doll. I don't. I think he's one of the ones I actually don't have opened. I think I have Kate and Dylan. So he will be cool to add with uh, the dolls that I have. I have this Kobe. I don't remember what line he's from, but I used to have him as a kid. So it's cool to get him back. And he still has his watch and his um, seashell bracelet. They still have like plastic wrap around them. I have the Eaton that went with that Kobe in the line. Again, I don't remember the line name. I have another motorcycle Cade. He's one that I will for sure be keeping in my collection because he's fully dressed up in his stuff and his hair is tamed in the bandana. I have, oh, he's really nice. 
I have Formal Funk Kobe. The Formal Funk boys, look, they look so nice. I have Sunkiss Summer Dylan. I'm very excited to have him because I don't have any of the other Sunkiss Summer boys because I'm stupid and I sold them. Same with my girls. Are these the same? Yeah, I think I have two Sunkiss Summer Cades. I think that's who it is. Sweet. I'm excited. I now have first edition Cameron. I don't think I have him so I can put him with my first edition Dylan who was my very first brats I ever got. I remember wanting a girl brat. My sister got me first edition Dylan for my birth or for Christmas. And I remember she was playing with her girl doll I bought her. I'm just like, I want a girl to play with. Like, no one wants to play with a boy doll. At least I didn't. Um, I have Rodeo Wayne. I believe that's who it is. I think my friend Michael kind of helped me on my Bratz boy knowledge a little bit. I have Secret Date Cameron. He's a very handsome stud. I have another Cameron who has that old screening. And he, um, oh, he's got gel in his hair. And he unfortunately has some fun marks above his eye over there. I also have, um, I'll grab these two here. We'll have Formal Funk Dylan, who we, me and my sister always played with. And then we have Eaton as well, which Eaton's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't know about that jacket, but I love his shirt color. I love that salmon color. And last but not least, I believe this is Bratz the movie. I don't know if this is Bryce. I feel like it's Bryce. Um, no. Yeah. I think so. I'm not sure. I'm sure y'all will let me know. That's it. We're finally done. And it almost looks like it's nighttime outside and it's almost one o'clock. So hooray. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my very big Bratz haul video. Um, it was very fun to show you. I've been wanting to show you for like a week since I've had them. Um, I found my boyfriend's tripod and I literally have my iPhone set and balanced on there. So it may kind of look off um, between shots. So I apologize about that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Who did you really like in this lot? Um, there are so many I liked. I, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm very grateful. I got them for such a great price. What I wanted to tell you guys was all the box dolls that I showed you earlier. I got them all. I think it was like $135 because I originally purchased those with 15 shipping from the seller. And then she showed me pictures of all these open ones. And I asked her how much. And she's like, well, I need 550 plus shipping. And I'm like, girl, that's half my rent payment. I, I can't do that. I can't do that on dolls. I'm like, well, what can, what can you get me for a hundred? Like I saw Treasure Sasha, I saw Princess Roxy, and I saw a few other ones. And she's like, you know what? I will sell you all of the open dolls minus the kids and the babies for $200 plus shipping. And I think I paid 45 shipping for those. How can a girl say no to that? I literally think, what? I paid under a dollar a doll besides the shipping cost. So if you included the 45 shipping, probably like two bucks a doll, whatevs. Two dollars a doll, are you flipping kidding me? <laughs> I'm totally speechless. It was fantastic, super excited. And thanks again guys so much for watching and sticking around. I know this was such a very long video, but I am over the moon to share that with you guys, especially with a lot of my Bratz fans that have been following me forever. I know you guys want to see an updated collection video and I promise it'll be coming in the future. I just want to get more doll shelves built in my room so that I can have all of them displayed properly before I show you because right now they're kind of in closets and, and whatnot. But I already said this seven times. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.